In today's video, we're gonna talk about the most popular up lights that are on the market. Not just the both lighting fixtures we have here, but we're gonna compare and contrast them to all the lighting that exists in the industry today. Yes, in today's video, we're gonna compare and contrast all the different both lighting models that are the most popular ones on the market and also compare and contrast them to some other models from other manufacturers. As you guys know, if you've been following my channel for a while, I've literally had everything. I used to have Chave lights, I had ADJ Element PARs, I upgraded to both lighting lights, I've tried out different Rockville lights, I've basically been on a mission to basically figure out what is the best up lighting in the industry. And I've also have a lot of industry friends and know a lot of information for on the different lights that exist out there and some insider knowledge as to what some of the big multi-op companies out there are also using that you might wanna learn more about. So for me personally, there are four types of up lights or PARs that exist in the industry. And uh, we're only gonna be talking about battery lights. We're not gonna talk about wired because honestly, wired's a whole nother area. First off, you have your small lights like these cans or the coins from Ape Labs. You have some really small detail oriented lights that exist. Then you have more of your compact up lights that are kind of taking over the main mobile industry for up lighting. Like these are the IR4s. Rockville has one that we'll talk about and uh, Ape Labs also makes them as well. Then we have our medium sized lights or our big lights. And those are things like the S4s here, the ADJ Element PARs, the Chave lights. A lot of them are these bigger models like this, which are what has been basically proven in the industry for so long. And there's that. Then there are the lights that I don't have here, which are the large up lights. I'm talking like the big ones that have a lot of heads or the really big aggressive ones. For the most part, those are the lights that you are gonna see with big production companies, not necessarily in the mobile op space. So we're not really gonna be talking about many of those because for the most part, everybody watching this video is probably a mobile op DJ or a mobile op entertainment company. So let's talk about these lights. So starting in our medium category, we have right here is the S4 light from both lighting. They also make an S6 model. Chave has a very similar light to this as well. In fact, this is a copycat from both lighting. Both lighting was copying the Chave light. In this category, you're basically gonna find find very robust built lights. All metal construction, glass grills, really built to last lights. Really, it comes down to price when we're talking brands. ADJ Chave, you're gonna be looking probably about 400-ish dollars per fixture, both lighting around 100, 150, $200, depending on the configuration. All these lights are gonna mostly be in four unit soft bags, or they're gonna come in road cases. And they're built to last, but they're also heavy. As you can see, they're also pretty big. We're looking at about seven-ish pounds, and that's across the board, they're all around seven to eight pounds, and it's a big fixture. But what you get out of it, other than being very robust, is a really good output. The S4s have a very narrow beam, the S6s have a wide beam when it comes to both lighting, and you're gonna have really solid battery on most of these fixtures, and what you're gonna have that none of these other ones have is actual dedicated DMX in and outs on all of the fixtures from the different manufacturers. Again, I'm gonna link both the both lighting, the ADJ, the Chave models, all down below for you guys to check out. Again, the only difference really comes down to price. These are pretty much the same features across the board. Chave has like a Bluetooth connection feature. Both Lighting has a master slave feature. They all have wireless DMX capabilities. One of the coolest things though with the in and out of the DMX, you can actually use this as a wireless DMX receiver. So instead of running a wireless DMX receiver to your up to your uh, moving head, say back there, you can actually run a DMX cord from this light up to the mover. And then you have basically your wireless wireless DMX taken care of with your up light, eliminating one additional thing. Moving over to our puck style lights, right here we have the IR model, which has the screen. This is from both lighting. There also is a RF model that's made by Rockville. And for people wondering the difference between this light made by both lighting and the one made by Rockville, actually both made by both lighting, Rockville gets 90% of their lighting from both lighting. They just rebrand it as Rockville. So if you buy both lighting, it's the same thing, but Rockville has exclusive rights to sell the RF model, which was the initial basically concept of this. There's no screen on it. There's just two buttons. It's very basic and it works via a remote and it does very basic functionality. This 
like the IR4 was built to set and solve all the problems that were made in the RF model. So basically you have a full color display where you can change all the settings, you can DMX it, you can also do master slave, you can't do that in the RF model, it's all based on the remote. So if you do sound active on the RF ones, every light's gonna do its own random sound active. If you do sound active with master slave on this, you set your master on sound active, all the slaves do exactly the same thing as the master. You also can change your wireless DMX group, a lot more functionality. Ape Labs also has a very similar light to this on the market. It has awesome sound active capability. It is kind of like an RF model where it's all based off of the remote and all the lights in the room do the same thing. Ape Labs is one of those companies where it just works. Their lighting just works. You don't have to do DMXing. Their lighting looks great. The only con to it is you're gonna pay the price. Ape Labs is built very well. It's built a slightly slightly better than the both lighting models but again you get what you pay for the ape lab stuff costs four times as much and it works great it's solid it's robust great battery life etc both lighting stuff is cheaper it's basically the end of the day it's a good point to mention that all up lighting nowadays is going to be hex if you're looking at any uplighting that is not hex, which is RGB, W, A, U, V, so it's got red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV, you should not be looking at it. The best uplighting, pretty much all lighting fixtures nowadays have hex, which allows you all the different capabilities for color mixing. And amber and white are by far the two most popular colors that you will use at your events. So with this style of light, you're gonna get some cons when it comes to this versus the big one and some pros. The biggest pro is it's smaller significantly smaller. It also weighs half as much. This weighs eight pounds, this weighs right around three to four pounds. Size-wise, you're looking at a quarter the size, which is incredible. Now, some cons, you no longer are gonna have IEC or PowerCon charging. On the big boys, you'll have PowerCon or IEC in. On the smaller lights, you're gonna find that it's basically like a, a wall brick charger. They use with like a laptop or, you guys are familiar. The wall brick chargers are what you're gonna find with these and you're not gonna have any DMX inputs or outputs. It's basically compact, put together, very simple ins and outs. And that's how they get the differences in size and weight is basically the inverter for charging. They remove it from this light and they put it into a brick and they remove the ports, which frees up even more room. Output wise, you're gonna look at like 80 to 90% of what this one is capable of. And again, this is across the board when it comes to Ape Labs, Shave, ADJ, they're very spot on when it comes to comparison wise. If this is 100% brightness, you're gonna get 80, 90% out of this one right here. And um, that's about across the board. You're still gonna get a metal build on these lights. You're still gonna get um, a nice top. It's not gonna be glass. It's actually gonna be like a polycarbonate on top. And it's actually better than that because this has a lip on it. So it protects the glass. This one does not. So um, it's better that it's not glass because it will be less likely to shatter. But overall, like I said in the intro, these are the new fixtures that are kind of taking over the uplighting space now. Most people are switching to these fixtures from these fixtures, mainly because of weight and size and that's about it. Battery life is similar, but I will say you do get more battery on this. So if we're talking 100% battery on this, we're talking 75% on this. Typically, and this is just speaking about the both lighting line, the both lighting S4s, I can normally do two solid six hour events before this light is even dead. Sometimes three, but I can easily get 10 plus hours of battery out of this fixture. This light, more like eight. I can definitely do one full six hour event, maybe seven hour event, but I'm not gonna try and run a second event on the same charge level. I'm gonna recharge them in between events. So now we move into the third category, which while this category has been around for a while, it's just now sort of catching on to the masses in a way, and that's because companies like Both Lighting are making more affordable options to some degree, and also just they haven't been able to keep up on production. So these are the cans. I'm talking about the cans and the coins. These very small detail oriented lights is what I'm gonna call them. They're really meant to like highlight very small features, maybe like a fireplace mantle or something very intricate, you know, really small detail items. That's where these things shine. These are meant for walls. These are meant for very detailed items. These can also use, be used for walls, but you're not gonna get nearly the output. The output of this, this is about a quarter, the output of what a big up light's gonna do. Battery wise, we're looking pretty similar. They All these are built pretty similar when it comes to battery life. We could probably get a solid eight hours of battery out of these. Same thing when it comes to the coins and cans from Ape Labs, similar ordeal there. I will say the Ape Labs, one of the biggest things they've been facing is uh, 
just inventory. They can't keep up with the demand. And that's where, you know, companies like Bow Flighting are entering and being able to jump in, start selling these and provide them to the masses. Again, we're talking a shrunk down fixture. So we're talking even smaller now than our basically IR4 or our puck style light. These just weigh about a pound, a little more than a pound, not much weight to them. We now have new options when it comes to mounting. For the most part, these aren't really meant to do anything other than be on the floor. Yes, they do have basically points where you can put a O clamp on them. Same thing with the S4, but really you need something like a, a really strong pole or trussing to mount these to them. With these smaller, lighter weight lights, there's a standard quarter inch thread on the bottom right here. You now can mount these to magnets and stick them on the ceiling, stick them pretty much anywhere metal. And now you have a detail kind of spot that you can highlight different things with. So the detail category is very interesting and it opens up a whole new variety of lighting options. I know the, the coins from Ape Labs, a lot of people use them. Um, you know, in their DJ furniture, if they have like transparent tops or stuff, it allows them to light it up. The coins also have like USB power to them so you can run constant power off of just like a, a hub, a USB hub inside of your furniture, which makes them pretty cool. Some people even mount them the face down. I know, I think the Max booths from Danny Mac have that built into them. Lots of cool options when it comes to the detail lights, but I wouldn't say they're gonna be a replacement for true uplighting. I think these are just gonna complement uplighting. And that's kind of my plan is to really experiment on how we can utilize these to complement the uplighting we're already doing. So the title of this video was, what is the best uplighting on the market right now? And hate to say it, but I'm a little biased because I own Bow Lighting USA and I use all Bow Lighting products. I was using Bow Lighting products before we were even a dealer for Bow Lighting and started Bow Lighting USA. So I'm a little biased towards Bow Lighting. Main reason for that is because they're cheaper. They're more affordable and they have the same output and reliability, if not better reliability and better battery life than the name brands that exist out there. And I know I've kind of cut some ties with name brands by saying that and promoting it, but that's the truth. That is honestly the truth at the end of the day is that this light right here costs a quarter of what the name brand does. This light right here costs a quarter of what the name brand does. And I'm not alone. I know many DJ production companies that use all Chinese fixtures. I know many other DJs that you guys know on this channel that use Chinese fixtures. Most of them are using both lighting. I mentioned it in a, a video that's coming out on what is both lighting that Joe Bun is actually the one that got me into both lighting from the get-go. And he's got a big multi-op here in Raleigh, North Carolina. The SEE team up in New Jersey, I mean, stacked with talent up there. Most of them are using both lighting products and Chinese lighting in general. Um, you know, Nick Spinelli, he's using all both lighting up lights. Now their movers, I think they're using Chave and Jana is using some really expensive ones but their uplighting, it's all Chinese. The uplighting has been on the market for so long and it's proven itself to be reliable for our events that it just makes the most sense to purchase the Chinese lighting. And of course the brand I choose and a lot of other influencers and people online choose is both lighting because it's got brand recognition at this point. So what is the best uplighting on the market for you? And that ultimately comes down to your preference. I have right here what I consider the best three fixtures currently on the market. One not even on the market yet, coming soon. This right here is the S4 uplight. They also make an S6 uplight. The S6 uplight and the S4, the only difference is how wide of a coverage pattern it has. The S6 covers more of the wall. It's a wider output. So if you like that look, the S6 is more your style. The S4 is more of a narrow beam. It shoots up the wall. Ultimately, it's the same brightness, believe it or not. The extra diodes in the six only do a wider coverage pattern. That's it. But because the S6 has two extra diodes, it actually has worse battery life by a few hours. A couple hours on average is less battery life. For that reason, I always use the S4 uplight. That's the same case with Joe Bunn and a few other people that I know in the industry. We all like the more tight beam, traditional looking uplights. And the S4 uplight is no joke. It's been on the market for a while. I think around 2018, 2019 is when this originally came on the market, maybe even before that. It used to be IEC, it's now got PowerCon. This light is proven. This light is reliable. This light works. It's built like a tank and that's about it. It's got a pop out antenna too. It's got ports. You can use it as a DMX receiver and transmitter with the ins and outs. It's just, this is the ultimate like 
beefy, heavy duty light that you can get. So if you're someone with a trailer, if you're someone with a van and you can transport flight cases, this is kind of my go-to. I like this light a lot. It's what I take to all my events. Again, it's just road worthy. It's built to last and it's a tank, but that comes at a price and that's when it comes to size and weight. So that's why a lot of people, cause mobile DJs, a lot of us are using our own vehicles. A lot of us are not using a van or a trailer. If we are, that's awesome. And in general, it saves space too. So what I'm talking about is the IR4. The IR4 came on the market just last year. So it's not as proven yet. It has only been on the market for around a year and it's solid. I mean, it's built very much just like the S4. It is a smaller light. It does have slightly less battery like we talked about, but the trade-off for that to have half the weight and a quarter the size is insane. You can take two of the eight unit briefcases to your event with 16 uplights and it takes up like no space at all. It's so much more compact and easier to transport for your events. So that's why this is the hottest uplight on the market right now. Bar none, I guarantee even competitors are not selling as fast as what the IR4 is. This light is so, it's like flying off the shelf. So if I had to personally pick a new uplight to outfit all of my DJs with, which I have, is the IR4. I've actually outfitted all of our DJs. The S4s are strictly reserved for our production events. It's more, I have a lot of these already, so I use them for my events. All my guys take these because most of them just use their car, or their truck, and they're not using a van that's easy to roll in and out with flight cases. These are the top two uplights on the market. These are the new guys. A lot of people are already using the Ape Lads cans, the Ape Labs coins, and these are the brand new Chroma cans from Both Lighting. These are the prototypes. The official release is yet to be announced when it's gonna be, stay tuned. If you want more info, we actually have a product wait list on bothlightingusa.com for these lights right here. They are a hex style fixture. I believe Ape Labs is just RGBW, but these will actually have amber, white, and UV coming soon. But like I said, it's a detail oriented light. So right now you guys are getting a really big sneak peek into the new chroma cans from both lighting. And for that, we're gonna get a little closer up. We have a little USA logo on it just for the heck of it. Basically you have one diode in here. It's a hex diode. On the bottom, you have the control screen and this control screen is identical to the IR4. And yes, they master slave. So if you already have IR4s and you don't DMX them, you can master slave them. They also have wireless DMX built into them. There's a charger on the bottom right there, just like a charging brick. And the coolest thing for me is this little quarter 20 thread mount on the bottom. This opens up so many possibilities. For you guys that don't know, quarter 20 is your standard like tripod mount for cameras and stuff. So you can imagine all the possibilities of how you can hang this thing and mount this thing. Currently right now, my biggest thing I'm thinking about using this for is using magnets to hang these from the ceilings, just like I do with our pin spots and using them for color washes, maybe on florals, maybe color washes from above down onto tables, maybe onto the dance floor, a color wash from above onto the dance floor. How crazy would that be? I'm really excited for these. Like I said, these are not gonna replace uplights. I think when it comes to uplights, these are by far the best two models on the market right now. The difference really just comes down to, do you want something more robust, bigger, heavier? Up to you. Or do you want something more compact and lighter and easier to transport? 90% of the people are gonna want this. 20% of people are gonna want this. Again, if you're more of a production style company where you do a lot of production events, I would probably go for these because if you got random people using them, you know, roadies and stuff, they can kind of throw these around and kick these around and they're not gonna break on you. These on the other hand, they're new to the market. They are pretty robust, but it'll be easier to break these. But I will say, we haven't broken one yet and we have been using them for some production events. These are gonna be your detail-oriented lights. I'm excited for these. There's also coins on the way. The Ape Labs make the coins as well. I would highly recommend the Ape Lab coins if you can find them in stock, because uh, as of shooting this video right now, they're like not in stock anywhere. The cans are in stock for Ape Labs, but these are gonna be our detail style lights, where they're gonna be for like intricate, small detail items. And you know, they're so small and they're gonna blend in. They're gonna come into matte black and a matte gray or a silver shiny one probably gonna make a white model too again these are prototypes but yeah detail oriented lights so 
that's the video. I hope it was helpful. I hope I educated you guys a little bit on the differences between the different style of uplights that exist, my personal opinions on the different models, and what I personally consider to be the best uplighting on the market right now. Again, I am biased because I own Bow Lighting USA, so we sell Bow Lighting fixtures. Take that with a grain of salt, like you should every little review video that goes online. You should take everything you see, people making reviews, etc., with a grain of salt because you don't know what their influence is behind that product unless they tell you. So that's why I'm telling you right now that I own Bow Lighting USA. So if you guys want to order from us, I'll link down below, bowflightingusa.com. We're making lighting simple for DJs across America. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you do. Smash that like button for me. And if you're watching the video at this point, put squad in the comments down below. I'll keep them record spinning, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.